All right, so I didn't get to read the first issue of this because my comic shop, Diamond, kind of messed up and didn't send it to him, so I missed it. And I heard it was really good, and I'm not surprised because of the writer on it, Brian Edward Hill, who's a really good writer. I, I don't know much about his work outside of comics, but his work in comics is really good. Uh, he did the fantastic Killmonger series for uh, for Marvel. And you really don't even need to know much about Black Panther. As long as you watch the movie, like you're good to go. Like You can read Killmonger and be just fine. Like I, I think that was one of the best books put out this year. I think it creeped from like December of 2018 into 2019. But if I think that's probably a graphic novel by now, I would pick that up and read it if you haven't. It's it's a really good story. And it was after that, like he had announced on Twitter that he was leaving. And I thought that sucked, but you know, I got it. You know, comics probably aren't the most profitable profitable area to be working in, but sure enough he stayed. So he's doing this, which I'm happy about because he also did a stint on Detective Comics when they were transitioning from uh, James the Fourth over to Tomasi, and he had a nice run where it set up this Outsiders book, and he did a really good job writing Batman. He had a lot of influence from the uh, from the cartoon, the animated series, and it shows in his writing of Batman, and I really like that. Uh, he's also a really good dude. <laughs> he won't tell you that you're garbage like a lot of other comic book pros will. He has good interaction with fans. He respects fans and he's damn good. So it's kind of like everything that you want in a comic book professional. <laughs> he's talented and he and he's nice to you. I know that that's crazy that we have to praise people that are actually nice to us, but that's the world we live in when it comes to comic books now. But as far as his story goes, like I I know uh, Black Lightning, the signal is in it. Uh, I don't really remember who Sophia is. That's who this woman is. She's with uh, this dude who I also don't know who he is. I'm a little lost on all the back characters sometimes because there's so many. But this guy is protecting her. And he's doing that because apparently Ra's al Ghul wants her. I didn't read the last issue. I think I know what's going on. She's there to be protected by him because Ra's al Ghul wants her for some reason i don't know why i have no idea but she's talking to him and she gets a gun from him she's like i'm not gonna kill myself some time passes and sure enough she goes to try to do that which i thought was pretty like brutal writing and you come around this dude who works for raza gold just crashes in the building now one thing that uh, Brian Hill is really good at doing is writing action. He's very good at, at writing it, I, and a lot of that comes from the author, the uh, the the penciler and the inker too. But it's the writer that does the directing, and I gotta say, like the the way he does. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't want to show the whole book, but the way he does uh, action is really good. So there was a really good action scene in this book where the outsiders all show up and we had some really good scenes. So this guy's like holding, uh, his name is Ishmael and he's holding black lightning. And that one dude right there with the gun blows his hand off. It's a really good shot right there. He goes down. He's literally like leaping up into the air now and like some anime stuff starting to explode the area. And then he drops down where all of the heroes are kind of laid out. And uh, then he goes over there to take that girl. That's really good. That's uh, one thing I noticed in Killmonger right away was the action was top notch. Like, I really like this guy's writing. I think he does a really good job, especially with action. And I'll definitely be I'll definitely be following this series as long as he's on it. If they take him off of it, I don't know if I'll stick to it. I just probably follow it because of Brian Hill. The art's really good. Uh, Batman seems to be more of a director, 
but it lets you play like he's kind of like the team boss and sends him on missions and it lets the it lets this book play in the Batman universe which was pretty cool because Raz al Ghul shows up at the end so he's going to be like the main villain of this series I really enjoyed it uh, just like I usually do with Brian's work most of it's all been pretty good uh, the uh, what's that Vertigo book he's on I forget but that one was okay but I would rather wait for the trade to read that whole book. I'm more into books like this, and he did a really good job on it. So this is worth checking out. I've seen that everybody else that's reviewed it liked it. I saw just some guy reviewed it. He liked it. Uh, Comics Matter with you boy, Zach. The long, ridiculous title of a channel. <laughs> you need to condense that down, man. Uh, he also liked it. Uh, most people that have read this have liked it, and... I, I see why it's it's pretty good. So this one's definitely worth checking out, I think. And that's pretty much it. Check out the links, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys on the next one.